Chapter 12. Who are you? You accepted to be the MC at your best friend's wedding reception. But is this what you signed up for? The music is so loud that guests have to virtually scream to chat with one another. The buffet queue reminds you of the line at a busy polling station on voting day, winding and ever-growing. The event itself feels like a movie shot entirely in slow motion. It started one hour late, and there are still two more songs to be performed before the cake is cut. As if this is not enough, an irate guest calls you over to ask why she has had to wait all this time without being served even a drop of water. Don't you know I'm the bride's auntie? What's the meaning of this? Welcome to the wonderful world of the MC. Sometimes you may feel overwhelmed by the many things that are going on simultaneously. You may wonder whether your real role is to be a master over chaos instead of what your title says in the program, Master of Ceremonies. But is it your fault that the couple packed the program with so many performances? And why should anyone blame you for the slowness of the waiters? The truth is that you are responsible for the smooth running of every aspect of the show. That means you need to see your role primarily as event manager tasked with satisfying your customers. So who are these customers anyway? And what exactly are you managing? Know your customers. At a wedding reception, your number one customers are the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Your job is to keep them relaxed and radiating happiness all the time. This means you should not give them a running commentary of all the things that are going wrong, like a shortage of drinks or delays from the caterer. Another set of important customers are the service providers, the DJ, ushers, caterer, waiters and security. You have to coordinate the activities to make the event a success, so your job is to keep them informed about the inevitable twists and turns in the program. Your final set of customers is the wedding guests. Without their involvement, the reception will lack real atmosphere. They, like the couple, also need to be relaxed and engaged with the event. Now you know who your customers are, let us turn our attention to what you should manage to enhance their total experience. Manage the noise. DJs can make or break any event. The best way to handle such a key person is with respect. Get to the venue early. Introduce yourself as the MC and continue by saying, and your name is? They will give you their name and from then on, you should use it. Anytime they crank up the volume, approach them and politely ask them to turn it down to a specific setting. Never abuse your power as the MC by ordering the DJ to lower the volume. They will resent your public criticism of their work and may even turn up the music in protest. Then you will have a hard time satisfying your audience and the couple. Feel free, however, to openly compliment the DJ on their choice of music. They will return the favor by cooperating with you. Manage the queue. Getting people to queue in an orderly fashion to serve themselves can be a daunting challenge. By the time the food is ready, guests who also attended the marriage service may have been sitting down for three or four hours and may be very hungry. If you make the mistake of starting with guests at the back, those closest to the food tables will invite themselves into the queue, just like drivers who use the shoulder of the roads to beat traffic and end up creating even more congestion. The best way to manage a buffet queue is this. Get the wedding party and VIPs to serve themselves first. Continue with those closest to the buffet table and work your way gradually towards the back of the venue. I learned this tip from the food and beverage manager at Golden Tulip Accra and it is foolproof. Use it. Manage the time. This aspect of a reception is entirely in your hands. Remember that the items on the printed brochure are just a guide for you. They are not cast in concrete. You should not have to wait 30 minutes to get started just because the designated person to do the opening prayer is caught up in traffic. Consult with the event planner, get a replacement and move on. Respect your customers by valuing their time. You should not punish those who arrived early by making them wait for the latecomers. To save time, you can run some items simultaneously. For example, the toast can be proposed right after the bride and groom have had their meal 
instead of waiting for all the guests to finish eating. Manage the mood. You set the tone for the event, and so you are responsible for the mood of all your guests. Remember, you are running the event on behalf of the couple. Right at the beginning, tell the guests you are their personal customer service manager. Assure them that they are going to have an enjoyable and memorable time. Remind them that if they fail to get the service they expect, they should direct their complaints to you alone. Do not leave the service providers out. They contribute to the mood as well. If you decide to invite guests to dinner 15 minutes earlier than scheduled, alert the caterer and waiters. Before the first dance, check with the DJ if they have cued the correct song. The bride will not be amused if she is forced to dance to a song she did not choose. Remember, the event is a success if she is happy. You will successfully manage the mood of an event when you anticipate all eventualities and take nothing for granted. Are you on MC duty this weekend? To minimize chaos and maximize satisfaction at your next wedding reception, here is what you need to remember. Know your customers. Manage the noise. Manage the queue. Manage the time. And manage the mood. Pay attention to the details of every one of these points and you will master the ceremony.